hey everybody welcome to another video I realized looking over my videos that I had a big gap in my topic coverage I never talk about bio artifacts these are a new thing in the sixth edition I don't think there were any artifacts in fifth personally I still have a hard time understanding how tyranids have artifacts in the same in the first place so that means they pack these things up and carry them around with them in space I have no idea um, but apparently they they have artifacts so let's go over them I like them and I like them because once again as with almost everything in the Tyranid army it's very simple the hive mind powers are simple the artifacts are simple they pretty much just all work on the standard special rules they're not doing anything too crazy which definitely reduces the number of arguments in the game so let's get right to it bio artifacts first you got the maw claws of thyrax yes thyrax which is a melee weapon i assume it's some form of rending claw uh it's strength of the user ap5 it has assimilate and it has rending and what's assimilate you ask well assimilate is any model removed due to close combat attacks you get preferred enemy against everything in that model's codex there you go what else do you need to say that's how that works <clears throat> very little confusion about using that let's go on to the next one uh the norn crown again really simple uh a model with the norn crown adds six inches to its synapse range what do you need to say uh this is this is this is kind of fun because it can give you the chance of having up to a 30 inch synapse range on uh hive tyrants if they get linchpin and then wait let me think linchpin gives them 18 uh so as a warlord trait uh dominion as a hive mind trait gives them another six has a chance of giving them another six inches and then yeah yeah you have uh you have this the norn crown which gives them a third six inches so that's 18 inches right there uh on top of their 12. 30. not bad if you like a swarm army and you want the you want to get that range boom you can have up to a 30. you can have up to a 24 then uh regularly Yumgar factor I think almost every Tyranid player should already know what these are from fifth edition uh now it's a um an artifact I don't know how that can be an artifact let's read it I'm just going to read it uh the Yumgarl gene stealers have long been a cancerous blight on the worlds of Imperium they're instable ver insatiable veracity is legend amongst those that have had the misfortune to encounter them and live now dark rumors have surfaced of another tyranid leader beast that appears to share the unfathomable adaptivity of the yamgarl gene stealers there you go somehow that's an artifact uh it's the same as before so slashing claws plus one strength tentacled limbs plus one attack protective carapace plus one to your armor save whoa i just realized something in the middle of reading this um huh in the in in the fifth edition you choose one of those every round and you can only have one oh wait here we go wait 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 at the start of each assault phase a model with the imgarl factor must alter their form into one of the three listed below the bonus gains lasts until the end of the phase uh the same form cannot be chosen in two consecutive turns there you go so it is exactly the same thing i thought maybe they got rid of that two consecutive turn limitation but no it's still there boom 
Artifact. Um, ba -ba 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 Reaper of Obliterax. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, if there is a correct pronunciation. Obliterax. O B L I T E R A X. Whatever. Uh, another hand to hand weapon. What is it? Ah, it resembles a bone sword. This sentient blade is commonly wielded alongside a lash whip. The Reaper discharges highly concentrated bursts of destructive en energy, and even the lightest blow can result in the blade's target being rent asunder. Sounds like fun. It sounds like a version of the uh, Swarm Lord's blades, to be honest with you, because... It's going to be a blade and, uh, and a lash whip. It's going to give you plus one strength. It's going to have AP3. It's going to be life drain, shred, and swift strike. For those who don't know, life drain um, is the Tyranid's form of force weapon. If you roll a six, then there's instant death. There you go. This is why it teams up very nicely with uh, Toxin Sacks. Because it's a poison roll, yeah, but if the poison is equal to or greater than the other target's toughness, you get to re-roll. Missed Wounds. Another chance to get that six, causing instant death. Swift Strike, plus three to uh, bonus initiative during the fight subphase. There you go. Shred is shred. Uh, ba -ba -bum -bum. Miasma cannon. This is basically a spitting cannon. I'll read the little blurb. The Tyranids utilize all manner of bioweapons, but none have earned more dread than the Miasma cannon. Unlike other Venom weapons, this weapon fires goblets of toxin-laden slime, so virulent that it reduces squads of soldiers into shapeless puddles of organic goo in seconds. Whether vomiting noxious fluids in great torrents or liquefying targets in gouts of acid, the miasma cannon has been responsible for deaths beyond counting. Now, this is fascinating because somehow you're saying that this weapon is so rare, only one of them exists in the entire Tyranid swarms. Firing gouts of acid sounds like it would be fairly common for the Nids, but apparently, I don't know. Uh, basically, this thing can spit in two different ways. It can either spit a giant gob at you, Hakalugi, and the 36 inch range, which is, quite, I guess, quite impressive. Strength 1, AP 4, Assault 1, Blast, Poison 2. Plus. Enough said. Uh, then, if, 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 you, if, if the Lugi, you have the Lugi form, um, and if you don't have the Lugi, then you have the Spit Shot. The spit shot uh, is basically where you use the spray template. It actually says spray template. So I'm not, yeah. That would be, again, strength one, AP four, assault one, poison two. Boom. So it's, it's loogie or spit shot. Ranged uh, two plus poison. I can go with that. How it becomes a bio artifact, I have no idea. But uh, it's useful. I like them. Uh, like I said, very simple, straightforward. Mm. Nobody's going to argue with you with interpretations of how to use these things. You're not going to forget how to use them in the middle of a battle. And that's one of the things I love about the, uh, the Tyranids is that there's, there's no volumes of special, unique, crazy, beardy, cheesy crap in their codex. It's all simple, to-the-point rules allowing you to play the game faster and better and more tactically with less arguing and less drama than, um, say, a space meanie playing uh, Eldar. Okay.
Till next time, I hope you enjoy this one. See you then.